All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play, some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, our weekend Let's Play, uh, temporarily, of course. Uh, I think I got all my issues fixed. Uh, if you guys can go ahead and tell me in the comment section below how this video quality is, how does it sound, how does it look, how are the frames, how is everything. Because I know we've been having a couple of technical difficulties with the last couple of Let's Play videos, both in this and Tag Quest 5, but I think I got it fixed. Really? One, it was using Camtasia. Camtasia is a screen recorder, so, you know, it's already very taxing on the computer. It's not as great as actually recording the game, so we're actually here recording with OBS. We're also having problems with issues with OBS as well, where it wasn't recording the game sound, but I think that got that issue fixed as well. So, uh, one of the major things, especially when it comes to using Camtasia, dropping frames and all of that, taxing with an OBS, is... It pulls a lot from the graphics card, and despite my computer upgrades, I said, oh yeah, you know, I got, you know, a card, you know, an awesome quad core something processor, i7 core, you know, I got a 32 gigs of RAM, I didn't upgrade my graphics card, and especially Camtasia pulls a lot from the graphics card, and my graphics card was shit, so uh, I ended up upgrading my graphics card, which didn't tell I had to upgrade my monitor, so now I've got a, a new HD monitor, and uh, yay, more money spending lots of, yay, anyway. Uh, hopefully the quality is A1 here and uh, we can continue doing our yu gi plays and content for you on the channel uh, like normal. But I'm looking at OBS, it looks like everything is fine, it doesn't look like any frames are being dropped, my computer is being awesome and I'm happy about it. So hopefully the sound quality, you know, I did a couple of sound check compared to me with the background audio and everything should be okay for this video. So let's go ahead and hop right into it for Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Duel episode, people. So apparently we're going to be playing as yu gi -Oh! when he gets married, the dark spirit revealed, so I have no idea what's about to happen in this episode. Uh, it is now time for the Battle City Finals. Oh wow, that was quick, just straight to the final. They get my Egyptian god, we skip over a couple things, and bam, finals, so. Mokuba. Hey look, Joey, Yuki, and Mai! Check it out, we all got six locator cards! <laughs> got that Brooklyn accent that I'm terrible at, I'm not good with accents, I don't really have an accent. Uh, probably Joey and Yuki. Kaiba, Joey, Yugi, and Mai were first four duelists to reach the final. The fifth final was soon arrived. It was Merrick using the fake name Namu. Uh, Namu, alright. He befriended Taya and Joey during the tournament. His plan was falling into place. So I guess he hasn't revealed him, his appearance yet. So I'm like, how would you, you know, how they would know it was you, but I, and I guess, no, they wouldn't because I, he's been mind controlling and using puppets. So I guess. Yugi, you meet our friend Namu. Yeah, see? So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know, I just thought I'd just do a regular voice. I've heard about you, Yugi. It's an honor to meet you. Any friends with Joey and Tay is a buddy of mine. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm so happy to be surrounded by such a welcoming crowd. I just hope everyone I meet tonight is a friendly is as friendly as you people. <laughs> hey, that's Bakara. What's he doing here? What are you doing wearing a dual disc? How else could I win six little kid of cards and enter the finals? Rewind a second. Did you just did you join the tournament? Join? How did you make it all the way to the finals? The seven finalists arrived just in time for Bakara to change the topic. Hey look, it's the seven finalists. This guy looks familiar. It's... <laughs> and that's a mug you don't forget. So... Uh... Looks like the encoding setting... I don't know, it might be... I think I might have ran into a snag right there. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, you guys will of course tell me. But, uh, it said that the encoding settings were high, so we might turn the encoding settings down, I don't know. Like I said, I just want to get everything fixed and have quality content for you guys, but, uh, state your name. I am Merrick. <laughs> Merrick's henchman, Odeon, assumed Merrick's name to hide Merrick's true identity. It was all part of Merrick's plan. <laughs> I'll kick your brainwashing keister. You are no match for me, fool. <laughs> Ooh, shit. <laughs> the only reason I'm not tossing you out by your cape right now is so I can save my energy to take you down the final. Got that, pal? I dink, I dink, I dink. Wow, yep, that's Joey. <laughs> I scared him, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I get that he hides accent, but do you really have to put, like, the accent like that? Like, mm. Not the seven of the eight finalists arrived, come and announced that even though the locator cards led them to this location, it wasn't decided the Bad City Finals. At that moment, Kaba's blimp arrived. Once they were, were aboard, it was time for the first duel between Yugi and Bakura. Yugi knew that there was something not right with Bakura. I know that's not Bakura. 
It's Evil Spirit of the Millennium Ring, and I bet he's still after the seven millennium items. This still is going to be tougher than everyone thinks. I must win. The fate of the world depends. Oh no, that, I'm reading freaking Yugi's line with Bakura because I just saw you Bakura. I must win this. The fate of the world depends on. It. I'm like, what did say? Are you prepared to lose it all? <laughs> Why all this fuss? <laughs> What's around Bakura's neck? No, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's not really Bakura. You see, Yugi and Bakura both have these real old objects that have magical powers. Yugi's item is good. Bakura's item is bad. Because an evil spirit lives inside it. So you're telling me that there's an evil spirit up there dueling Yugi? That's hard to believe. The team had no idea that Nambu was actually married and that the evil spirit possessing Bakura was working for him. Now that the introduction is over and done with, why don't we begin this duel? Alright, so, time to duel. I said, hopefully uh, everything is good, uh, that we don't drop any frames or have any issues. I'm not pulling too much from CPU. Doesn't seem like I'm pulling no more than 5% with OBS open and the recording and, you know, all my other things that I have going on with the computer. So, uh, hopefully this should be good. Uh, I want to go second. And once again, with Legacy of the Duelist and Tag Force Files, you got to remember which one, you know, <laughs> uh, which one I get that additional card with. So, hopefully I can do some things in this duel. Uh, this up in the hand. I mean, any hand where you open up Grace of Charity is actually pretty good, you know, with some uh, hand corrections going on. Maybe I can summon my uh, favorite summon skull. So, of course... Mystic Box, uh, not a big fan of this card, I'm not, I mean, it, it, it can get you out in a pinch, it really can, but I'm just not the biggest fan of it, so, of course, we're going to go ahead and activate Grace for Charity, draw, 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 and, uh, for now, psh, psh, I want to keep Dark Magician, bro, so, I think for now I'm going to pitch Dark Magician, and Karibo's not that great either, but neither is Blessed Blighter, so I think I do like that. Because, of course, if I tribute someone for a Dark Magician girl, then she'll be a nice, powerful um, 2300, because there's a Dark Magician in my graveyard now, so getting set up. Alright, I thought maybe going on the offense would be better, but, I mean, he's got a, a 2000 booty, so I'll just take that. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Fucking first tag force, now you, now you, Pekora, fuck you, man. Wow. <laughs> Sucky. Oh my god, well, I can multiply my freaking Karibos. Tribute to Karibos, summon as many tokens as I want. Yeah, that's cool and all, but you see, I can't attack, and oh, this fucking sucks. Wow. Wow, first, like, first, first it was in tag force with fucking Saki ass Destiny Board, and now here in fucking Legacy of the Duelist. Saki ass Destiny Board. Like, if I lose, I'm gonna be so salty, cause it's fucking Destiny Board. Who the fuck loses Destiny Board? Me, and then me again. Like, wow, banish running the card from your opponent's hand. Okay, that's nice and all, but he already has the Destiny Board ready, so what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Like, God, this sucks. <laughs> So uh, that's another, and I think one last turn. I think this is gonna go, so yeah, I literally have one, one more turn. You're like, oh, Destiny Board, that fucking, that card fucking sucks, man. It's not even good. Like, it's good when you fucking actually get it off, fucking win automatically. <laughs> like, you ever know what they fucking call this? Fucking episode, it's fucking sacky ass Destiny Board Part 2, my boy. Damn, you take all that damage, my boy. Ah, take it. So, unless I get some way of getting rid of that Destiny Board this turn, which I don't think I am. Nope, I didn't. Yay. Fucking Saki ass Destiny Board Part 2, my boy. Because I don't think I can end this duel. Like, like, that's the sad thing. I don't think I can win this duel this turn. So, freaking Pekora, during, during my end phase, it's going to get that last Destiny Board piece, and then that's GG again. Like, oh my god, what's up with me losing the Destiny Board lately? <laughs> Oh my god, it's actually kind of sad. So, Dark Magician Girl. Boom. I'm literally, I'm just doing things just to do things at this point. I mean, I already lost. I already lost. Like, where's my Dust Tornado, my Twin Twisters, my anything? Wow. And Jaugen too? Can I, like, pop cards on the field? Or is it only monsters? Nope, it's only monsters. So, I'll end my turn and Destiny Board? Yep. Saki has Destiny Board again. Yep, fucking, mmm, <laughs> fucking Destiny Board. <laughs> oh my God, duel again. Skip, like, <laughs> skip. Wow, fucking Destiny Board again, people. <laughs> 
Sexy as Destiny Board Part 2. Two different games! Same result. Me losing the fucking Destiny Board. <laughs> Did he do that in the show? Like, I don't remember. <laughs> That's so sacky. Wow. Wow. Said I'm gonna have to hand ejection, card destruction. Wow, he also got the graceful charity, so. If you can get rid of your Destiny Board, I'd be very appreciative, man. Alright, so. I can activate this. Draw, draw, draw. What's this do? Go into a dark magician, dark magician girl. Can you know it? So, okay. So, I mean, I, I can get rid of the dark magician, so that doesn't really matter. Um, I think for now, I'll attempt to take it slow. Because next turn, I can tribute someone for a dark magician girl who will be a whopping 2600. Equipped with this will be 3300. Like, hey, that's pretty good. So. Just don't, don't do Destiny Board, Merrick. I will fucking kick you in the face, man. Alright, obviously you're gonna come after me, so... You can go ahead and take that damage. I will go to attack mode. Then you'll attack again, and now you can catch the Mirror Force, my boy. Ah! Vindication! Get out of here! <laughs> oh, great. Here we go again. Fucking Nightmare Steel Cage. Alright, All right. awesome. Like, you know what? Didn't want to freaking battle anyway, so we'll just go ahead and... Should be someone for Dark Mission Girl. And then watch this fucking be, uh... Um... Uh, Destiny Board again. What's this card do? This can... One face up monster on the field. Equip, equip with all equip cards on the field. Hello? You mean those equip cards and equip targets? So I have to just equip everything. All the equip cards. So my Dark Mission Girl is 3200. It's pretty good. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna end, and then during my end phase, Destiny Board. Fuck! <laughs> Yugi, please tell me that you have like a Dust Tornado or, or MST or something, Yugi. If you don't, I'm gonna fucking kick you in the face. Like, I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it. You know what? Fucking. Get rid of everything. You got a Destiny Board piece in your hand? Oh, it looks like you actually did. Are you running multiple pieces of Destiny Board? What Destiny Board at in this game? Like, I don't even know what it's fucking at in this game. I slifer, that's cool, but what the, what the fuck is that gonna do? You know? What the fuck? Alright. So, it doesn't, it looks like he's missing a piece. It looks like he's missing the end, because it's in his hand. So, I think we might be done. No more tacky ass Destiny board, because I made you get rid of the end. So, are we good? Uh, had the message pop up again with the video settings and coding, so, yeah, duh, I might have to do something. I might have to, like, turn down the settings or something, which is fine, which is fine. Wish I would have got this a long time ago. Now I just need to actually go on defensive. Yes, I get it, he doesn't have the end. The nightmare. Oh, he played another one. I would say, didn't, isn't, gone, like, no, he went away and he played another one, so he's just fucking stalling. So... So, what the fuck does it do? And this card is normal time you can target one monster so, during your third step phase. I this card that can destroy the target. Wow. Alright, so. I mean, that's a long wait, my boy. That is a long wait. So, hopefully, I can end up getting rid of that fucker before that shit goes down. How strong is he? He's pretty weak, so. Oh. Of course he wants to get rid of my Dark Magician girl, but nah, my Dark Magician girl is on the field today, so you're gonna have to get another Nightmare Steel Cage, my boy. So that's one, and then god, he just got a butt ton of fucking set. I mean, if I can figure out a way to summon with its face, I can brain control his monster and then tribute it. But I don't think that's necessary right now. So, we'll go ahead and kill you. Right? Did my attack not go through? Uh, this card can I be strong. Oh, wow, the target's on the field. Oh, okay. My bad. Now I know. So, he can't be destroyed at battle, so... Next turn, I'm... I mean, I still have one more turn, right? What? I'm just gonna bring control you and then tribute. 
So I'm okay, my life points take and then tribute two monsters, tribute and tribute. So does that I'm free, right? Free from your sacky, sacky card. Yee. Alright. So your destiny board will show alright, you have Necro. Uh yeah, Dark Necro Fear. Has she summoned? Vanishing three monsters from your graveyard? Please? So you still don't really have anything, and you can't play that sacky ass destiny board, Merrick, so really you should just stop with your fucking stalling, man. Now you got, I'm gonna bust through all these monsters. Hey, summon Skull. I knew you would show up. Uh, now I just need a monster I can actually, like, still continue to normal summon and put on the offensive. Can we, like, skip her attack? I, it, it's nice and all, and she looks very well animated, but I, like, I'm actually getting sick and tired of seeing her attack, so. Alright. Yes, I get it. Yes, Destiny Board. Shut up. Like, freaking him. <laughs> card destruction. Card destruction. Save my ass. Like, yeah. <laughs> that card's bam, though. So. Okay. Well, yeah, that is, at least I can finally go on the offensive. So, what's the blade attack? Oh, shit. Sand again, search. Search for another sand again, so I, I mean, he'll always have a monster he can continue setting. Sand again, search, sand again, search, sand again for a little while. Just need to get a little bit more on the offensive. So you got sand again and two necro faces. Alright. So, yes, it's the problem with your freaking destiny board now. You're pretty much showing me your hand during the end phase. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There's necro face. Get her 28 booty. Wow, another one. Doesn't she, like, take my monster? In phase, this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed by opponent's card this turn. You about that, okay? Uh, you could target one phase of the monster controls, equip it, and then you take control. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yay, that's that's awesome. <laughs> so you can literally take control of my fucking monsters with fucking necro face. Like, Merrick, you are a dick. Any <laughs> other phase? Center graveyard. Target one face up monster. Your opponent controls and equip it as a target. So either way, he's gonna be taking something. Cause how do how the fuck do I deal with this necro face, huh? How the fuck do I deal with this shit? Like merits are fucking sacky, man. Ah, uh, you fucking suck. You got your head, blah blah blah, yeah. You know. And I can't even kill, like, your necro face. It's like, that's what really sucks. So you can just take my fucking shit, and there's nothing I can do about it. I guess I could play Swords of Villain late. Yeah, we already knew that was Sand Gun, so... Ah, this sucks, because I know he's just gonna fucking... So I can kill one of the necro faces. It's fucking 28 booty. Like, why? Why did it have to be both of them? Like, if it was one of them, maybe, but both of them? Like, you fucking suck, man. Ugh, I just want this duel to end, but America's fucking being sacky as fuck. So, of course, during the end phase, he will take one of my monsters, so... That's fucking great. I wish I could just set my monsters. Yeah, it's normal summon. Three tributes to normal summon. So. It sucks. Uh, go ahead, Merrick. I mean, Merrick, Bakora, I can take my shit. Yeah, that's not Saki at all. Yeah. Great, now he has my Dark Magician Girl. That's awesome. And then I still gotta deal, and the sad thing is, I still gotta deal with the other fucking Necro face. So, I don't believe I can summon this this turn? No, I can't. Is this another Sangan? I don't remember what this card is. Yeah, it's another Sangan. I believe that's the last fucking Sangan. Alright, so he's gonna search some armor knight, whatever. Oh, this sucks! 
I hate you. I hate you so fucking much, Pakora. <laughs> Destiny board, fucking Necroface, snatching up my shit. Like, god damn. Like, I might have to just deck you out. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to beat you that way. And I actually like to beat you the legitimate way. But you're going to keep on taking my shit. You know? I could summon Slifer right now. I could. But you know what? You know what, Bacar? I think I'm just going to deck you out. Like, obviously, you want to snatch up all my shit. <clears throat> if I can deck you out is the thing. My swords is gone. My Dark Mission Girl is 3300, so... Uh, this kind of sucks. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Just had to be my fucking Dark Mission Girl, didn't it? They fucking attributed her for something Skull or something. Cause I could s oh wait, if I summon Slifer, then your attack will drop. By 2,000. Never mind. I would say, like, am I fucking stronger than you? Hey, Slifer. Actually, you know what? Probably should put you in defense position now that I think about it. This card is going something blah blah blah. Once per turn, he has his turn. Blah blah blah. This card again. Oh, if it's summoned, I thought it just reduced everybody. No, it's on summon. God damn it. God damn it. I thought it just naturally reduced everybody. No, it doesn't. I thought it just reduced everybody to that. Like, no, when something is summoned, it's reduced by 2,000. So, that Dark Mission girl is still naturally stronger than me, at least until at least one more turn. Yeah, I thought so. You can come at me with the necroface and shit. Yeah, let's try magical hats. Hopefully you don't get it. Actually, you know what? Should have waited for your attack decoration. God damn it. I am fucking misplaying like a son of a bitch. Probably should have waited for your attack decoration. God damn it. Yeah, because he can attack everybody. I just gotta hope that the fucking Dark dark Mission Girl misses my Slifer. Where's my Slifer? Right here. Ayy. Ayy. <laughs> Now I have four cards in hand, which means I have my Cypher. Sky Dragon's 4,000. Yeah, Cypher! Alright, so... Yep, I'm going to be killing my own Dark Mission Girl. I'm gonna gain a thousand. And let's see, let's see if you're smart, Bacora. Because if you're smart, you would take this uh, Necroface and attack enemy. If you're smart. Alright, so, sure. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. You're being a little pussy pussy. Wow, and you actually left that fucking cat there? Oh my god, boy. Like, dude, that's game. Like, what the fuck? Why would you flip some of that? Game. Wow. That was bad, Bacora. That was bad. Like, that was bad on you, my boy. Holy shit. <laughs> Bacora, you okay? Huh? Hey, where am I? You're my friends now, Bacora. I'm glad Bacora's okay. The Millennium Ring is a lot like my puzzle. It holds an ancient spirit that depends on someone else so it can exist. And even though the spirit of the ring is evil and controls Bakura against his will, it seems to still need Bakura in order to survive. Why did you move over there? Like, okay, I guess maybe someone else is going to talk. There's still one major difference between Bakura and I. What's that? The spirit inside my item is my friend, and you and I are always there to support each other no matter what comes our way. You were there to help me when my grandfather was in trouble, and now I'm here to help you rescue the world from evil. I promise that together we'll figure out the secrets of your ancient past and how to unlock your hidden powers before Merrick can take them, because your destiny is mine too, and we're gonna win. Oh my god, shut up! <laughs> That's right. This was a tough duel, but thanks to our teamwork and the heart of the cards, we came on top. And <laughs> we're headed for round two, and we're gonna take it all the way. Oh my god, yeah, that was Saki, Bakura. Fucking, that was Saki. 
So I believe it was better, but I still think we're having some encoding issues. So I'm going to go ahead and try to work on that. Like I said, you guys go ahead and tell me the quality in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play and some Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, see you guys really tomorrow with some more Legacy of the Duelist. All right, people. Thanks for watching.